What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day, and today I got a special one for y'all because we are joined by Charlotte Native, female artist, Mm -hmm. actress, entrepreneur. Okay. (laughs) Talk your shit, (laughs) We are joined by Jazzo704, Westside. For them hoes. What it do? All that one word. All okay. that in one word. Mm-hmm. How are you though? I'm alive and breathing. Mm. Blessed and highly favored. Yes. Do y'all say that out here? Uh, they say what the fuck they want to say. Yeah. I can Th- cuss, right? Yeah. Wow. That's some old head shit back home. They say blessed and highly favored. Mm-hmm. Like the old, yeah, yeah, the old old ladies, they say that type shit. But um, what's up with you? Like what you been uh, getting into lately? What have you been doing and what you got coming up? Well, I've been, you know, talking my shit. Uh I be having little shows coming up. I got a show down in Darlington, South Carolina, and it's gonna be lit as the fuck. They are uh, inviting me back out. I cut up last time, so they were like, "Please come back," and I'm like, "Say less." Oh yeah, what was the atmosphere like? Oh, that shit was lit. It was a script club vibe. Not like black strippers are like, I'm not gay or no shit. Like, mm-hmm. so I'm not like like into it. But the people that was in there was lit as fuck. Like, yeah, yeah. So was the strippers dancing while you was performing? I threw some money on some bitches and shit like that, but it wasn't nothing. I was, you know. We just stood and I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you was vibing. <laughs> yeah. Um. All in all, so I've, I've been seeing you like with the with the shows you be doing and mm-hmm. just like uh, a lot of stuff you got going on, the music videos. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of high quality shit. Like oh, your, okay. your stuff is looking good. It's put together. Is that all you or do you have a team? I I don't have a team. So you do everything? It Well, well I mean, not besides you, besides the video. Of course, you have videographers right, for your right. music videos and whatnot, but like your website. Your website is I clean. did that. You did that. Yeah. And then just how like you set up like all your content. I did YouTube that. and IG, that's all you? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Do you get a uh, like, is it overwhelming at times? Do you get burnt out by it? No, I don't. Yeah. I'm a geek. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's I do. That's right up your alley. Yep. That's For what's real. up. That's what's up. Um, So like I said in the bio and your handle, I should say, acting. Mm-hmm. Talk about that. What's, uh, what type of uh, acting endeavors have you been involved in? Well, I mean, I took acting classes. Recently or growing up? Growing up. Mm. I took acting classes. Um, I'm actually writing a movie right now. Really? Oh, my mama. Are you allowed to talk about it? Yeah, it's my movie. Hell. Well, I mean, I ain't know if you ain't want to. I mean, I ain't going to go know, into debt. Yeah, and yeah. If you ain't want to give the sauce out, the game to be sold, not to be told at times. No, nah, I ain't going to do all that. But I, I am looking for some actors and some actresses for it, though. All right. Well, hey, there you go. Plug your shit. Yeah, get I am your, get looking your, for some actresses. Get your I'm going to do a casting call. Okay, I did see that cast and call. What type of movie? Well, a mix of Lifetime. What's that and mean? Like, like Lifetime movies. Like the channel? Yeah, like everybody watch Lifetime movies. I would hope. I, I mean, I've heard of it. I don't think I've Lifetime. Like, what's some like cornbread and shit? Nah, it's like soul food. <laughs> no, it's like some a lot of twists and turns. Okay. Basically, it's yeah. not gonna be no tubey shit. Like, we're not gonna be on there yeah, and then okay. like I ain't gonna lie. That's what my mind the went. The next scene is like I got orange hair and I got like yeah, box that's, braids. That's where my mind went. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna hold you. No, nah, nigga, no, nah, nigga, no. Nah. Right. We ain't gonna do that. But um, it, it's it's got a lot of twists and turns. So let's just say that. Okay, it's so like a. It's gonna be like a drama thriller. Like what type of what genre? Drama, comedy, thriller, like. Okay, is it gonna take place in Charlotte? Mm-hmm. Most of it, yes. Can you give like at least some of the storyline? Let's just know the bitch gonna be crazy. Who the main character? Uh huh. Are you playing her? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, it's my I got I got to like. All right, she's gonna be crazy now. Yeah. What made her crazy? Does she have legit mental issues, or did it come from a dude that messed her up in the head? Well, it's always childhood trauma that when too. a bitch crazy, yeah, 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 yeah. or anybody. But uh-huh. you know, it was the trigger from a nigga. Okay, yeah. there we go. So it was both. Mm-hmm. All right, so it's yeah. it's, it's just recording her journey. Mm-mm. Her get it's back starting off from her what she fucked up at. Ah, it's gonna be lit. All right, yeah. I, look, I tell you off camera. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so let me get <laughs> let me get more of a, a gist of your your movie taste. Give me okay. a, your top three favorite movies. Um, I'm a musical type of girl. Not musical, musical, but like The Temptations, Five okay. Heartbeats, Sparkle. Um, I would say Carmen Hip Hopper is like one of my favorite ones. Carmen Hip Hopper. Carmen the Hip Hopper with Car- Beyonce and Mikai Pfeiffer. 
Never seen it. Sounds good though. Really? I forgot those two, and I've never seen it. I seen Cadillac wow, Records. Okay. I seen Cadillac Records with Beyonce, and I seen Paid in Full with Makai Pfeiffer, but I never seen Carmen the hip hop. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Shit is dope. Like they rap and stuff and sing mm-hmm. like in the movie. Mm-hmm. Like it's really dope. You gotta got see it. It's an old movie though. Like early 2000s like type 2004, shit? Like 2004, five or something like that. All right, cool. So around with Paid in Full and 8 Mile and right, all that came right out. Right around then. All right, all right, cool. I'm going to check yeah. it out. Um, okay, so that was one. We got two more. Um, Favorite movie. All right, Avatar. The blue? The blue people? Well, you know, Or the us. airbender? No, Avatar, like us. Like the air people. The sky people. Okay. Us okay. coming in. Okay. Yeah, 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 I just seen two. I just bought it the other day. In the water? In yeah, the water I cried like shit. a little bitch, man. Yeah. It was sad. Swear to God, I cried like a little bitch. Yes, it was, it was heart, sad. Heartwarming. Yeah, I'm a little cancer, man. Oh, you're a cancer? Mm-hmm. I just saw something today. I'm a Sagittarius. Oh. What that mean? And then you scratch your neck. Is that, no, that it's a, a fire sign, but no, oh, you good. You I, good, thought, you good. I thought that was subliminal. Like, we, uh-uh. we're good people. We be chilling. But I saw a sign that said, like, <laughs> most toxic couple type things. It mm-hmm. had Sagittarius and cancer and mm-hmm. Sagittarius says, and Taurus. Now, mm-hmm. I can say this. Taurus is the most least compatible sign with Sagittarius. I'm mm-hmm. not deep into it, but I know that much. Mm-hmm. And I seem to only, not only, but mostly attract Taurus women. And, mm-hmm. and it should be crazy. And I can definitely concur that that shit does create a toxic <laughs> ass situation for sure. Yeah. Um. So the Avatar, so that was the last movie that made you cry? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. What other movies made you cry? A lot of movies be making me cry. Mm. I like movies where they have like good endings. Like when they succeed or something. Ah. Like uh, Pursue of Happiness. Okay. Crowd like a bitch. You hear me? When he finally got his little shit together. Yeah. It'd be like those movies for me. Mm. You like to see the the underdog win. Mm. Push through the adversity. Yeah. Like you done did good. And come out on top of the yes, mountain. Yes, sir. I, I can't watch those type of movies. I don't, like, I don't like movies that would make me cry. Yeah. But I've, I've, the last movie that made me cry, which is kind of weird, was Logan. Um, the X-Men oh, movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was the last that one. Was... I don't think I've ever said that in public neither, but yeah. At the end, <laughs> at the end when he died, that shit fucked Woo, me up. Fucked me up, T. Yeah, because when the little girl, she was like, mm. you know, holding his hand, he was like, oh, mm. so this is what it feels like. I'm like, mm. damn, not my nigga X Man. Boy, he gone. That boy up out of here, Lord. That's that's one of my family nicknames and all that, X Man. Yeah, so really? I'm like, damn, my nigga done went. God damn, bro. Yeah, I'm big on those too. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm like super geek. Like I would love like those, but they do magic and shit. Like mm-hmm. all of the movies, all, all right. those. So speaking of you with acting, um, mm-hmm. your music video down mm-hmm. was that supposed to be like a set it off type mm-hmm. thing with the concept. with the skits? Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Like most of those videos when I'm acting and stuff in are like it's not just me rapping to the camera. I yeah. put those together. Okay, mm-hmm. so how did that come about with the down uh, music video? Like how did the idea come together? Well, um, it was basically, well, the song is really about people that, ooh, it's a long story short, but it's really like, I'm like a black sheep, period, okay. right? So, like, it's about people that just don't believe in what I got going on and how I'm going to do it regardless, how I make my way out of nothing. And when I made the video, it was mainly like, motherfuckers keep trying to take shit from me, not not necessarily like me, mm-hmm. but like just everything that I work for. Yeah. So, basically, the guy in the video took my... My my me basically that was everything mm. in the book that he had was mm. like my raps my vision everything I had going on so it was me going to get my shit back. Mm. Okay, so he was um what was the dude named that owned the that owned the janitorial thing and set it off? So was he, um was it, Lu- is it <laughs> Luther? Luther? Is it Luther? Luther. So he was Luther. Basically. Okay. Okay. Basically. I like, it. I like it. Or a bank owner, either one. But okay, I get what you're saying. Basically. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, so we'll come back to that. So coming up, your name is Jazz0704 West Side. Mm-hmm. Uh West Side or the best side of Charlotte, I assume. Yep. So what exact part of West Charlotte are you from? I'm from Columbus Arco. Okay. Virgo Heights, Garibaldi. All right. Westwood. Let it be known. What was that like coming up? <laughs> you ain't never been over there before? I haven't. Where you from? Maryland. Oh shit, yeah. Now nah, you couldn't even come outside when the screen lights came on. Mm. hmm I picked that up from <laughs> as far as Charlotte, I have picked that up. Like when I first came out here, everybody was mm-hmm. like, West Charlotte, West Charlotte. I'm like, okay, it reminds me of Baltimore. Mm-hmm. West Baltimore, West Charlotte. It's usually a part where like I right, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So what um how'd you get into music when you was growing up and whatnot? Uh, my dad actually had a music group. What Him and his brothers, they were called P O T P. 
Okay. They did a lot of little stuff. So that's what got me attracted to music, listening to their songs. Were they singing or rapping? Singing and rapping. Okay. And this was in what, the 90s? He's trying to figure out my age. I mean, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was in the 90s. I'm a gentleman. I, I, I ain't going to put you out there with the age. I'm it was definitely the 90s, though, for real. But that's why I asked, because in the 90s, it was guy groups left and right. Yeah. Every, everyone wanted to either be mm -hmm. Jodeci. They were like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they had the little vest and shit with the yeah, little open up, yeah. taco meat and shit hanging Drew out. Drew Hill. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. My, I think my dad was on the same time. Really? Yeah, he was like a singer in like the 90s when everyone was singing. Yeah. But that's when they was like singing, singing. Mm -hmm. From the soul. Like yeah. when niggas to rehearse, they used to be like this and shit. Yeah. Like on the stomach. That's when niggas used to be crying in the rain singing. Boy, we ain't there begging no bitches. Them niggas ain't begging bitches for nothing no more. Nah, what they doing? That community did. <laughs> I said it. And it's on my last album. What is you said it? Community did. Oh, that's the name of the song? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's community did. Though. I didn't say they was. Okay. But the mass majority. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, if it's... Here, here's my take on it. Mm -hmm. I'm on some chill shit now, but here's all my take on it. Talk your shit, cuz. If something is accessible mm -hmm. and we're outnumbered, mm -hmm. then why not indulge? You I know mean, what I mean? It's a thousand banks out here. You gonna indulge and rob in the bank? Nah, robbing oh, the ah. rob, robbing the, the risk and reward the for the risk and reward for robbing a bank compared to getting some ass is. I mean, it is a risk too because they bitch can have an STD or AIDS or HIV. Skin condoms. I actually reached out to them. No, I I ain't gonna put their name <laughs> out there. I reached uh, out to a brand in Atlanta. Well, they reached out to me and then ghosted me. There's like some condom brand. Y'all some fuck niggas for that. Mm. But yeah, wrap it up. And I say skin condoms, free plug, I guess. But those shits are amazing. That's what it's called. Skin. No, no, no. This is a different brand. Skin, this is a condom. It's called skin condoms. Skin condoms. Uh -uh. I think they're latex free. They're very thin. Mm -hmm. They're immaculate. But I say that to say, wrap it up. But I mean, a, a lot of people do be sushi. -ing. I was I was a sushi <laughs> boy. I changed my ways. I made it out clean though. So. Well, you made it. Shalom. I don't know. I don't be fucking. I don't know nothing about them condoms. You don't be fucking. Uh uh. Didn't you tell me you had to wait for your your son? My son for what? Something you had to wait for your son, right? You have kids, or yeah, you have a kid. kid. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually about to be divorced, but it'll be final next week. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you? How you feel about that? I'm excited. That's what's up. I'm living my motherfucking life. Are you? Y'all having... see my videos? I'm outside. I've been outside the whole time. Are you having one of those divorce party things? I am going crazy. My bitches putting it together. I'm the male scripts and everything. It's going down. Y'all can come if y'all want to. For real, I swear to God. Wow, that's lit. She's not talking to me, by the way. Those no. tuning in, she's talking to Megan and Megan, who's in the live audience <laughs> right now. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Appreciate the invitation, but I'm good on that. But all right, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, that's like a thing. Now. Everyone's celebrating divorces. So what? It's not like I wanted to be divorced. I know, like... I know. I get it. I get it. Because nobody goes into the situation mm -mm. thinking that, you know, this right. is going to be the end goal. They right, think right, in, right. what is it, forever in, whatever the fuck they say, whatever the dude says at the forever in. You know what I mean? Whatever the preacher I don't even remember the nigga was lying so hard, I guess. I, I don't remember what the nigga said. Mm. I don't think he remember what you said. Who, at the wedding? I by this time. Uh, how long How long have you been married? I was like married for almost five years. Okay. That's a cool little... We were together for like nine years. Five is, I think like three to five is like the average mm -hmm. span anyway. Yeah, because I mean, you're supposed to grow every seven years. Like you always take an elevation of life every seven years. Every seven? Period. And typically, women, we do grow faster than men, unfortunately. So when you go to the next level, y'all be still back though. Y'all grow fast, but then it halts after a while. Y'all's halts shorter than ours. What I mean by that is y'all do mature faster than mm -hmm. us, but I think like around 23, between mm -hmm. 21 and 23, mm -hmm. it just halts. Mm -hmm. And ours keeps going. And mm -hmm. then once we way past, then y'all start mm -hmm. moving the wheels again. Right. It's crazy. Yes. That's the that's cycle a, of life. Yeah, that's a study. Yes. That I made up, the day by day study. But, mm. it, but it's accurate. Oh, you know, it is. Would you like to get married again? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, what would uh, be different this time around from uh, a man that you would like to marry or a woman? I, I never asked you. Are you. Hell no! I woman? like dick so much, it's crazy. But you're not fucking, you just said. I'm just not fucking, though. Okay. Yeah. So how do you? I mean, I know my value and I'm not about to be this out here. Yeah, fucking anybody. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm I'm not, not saying that, that but. Well, yeah. actually, you know what? We're actually going to circle back to that. I promise we will. Okay. Um, some of your favorite artists coming up. Ludacris. Luda. Yup. That's like my favorite artist. When I had time. cornrows, people said I looked like him. 
I can kind of see that though, for real. Yeah. If you had like an afro, I could really kind of see that though. Now I got the Baldini. They sell it like Damon Wayne's. Oh, you got a bald head? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ludacris, who else? Um, Like Shauna, of course, because she was with DP, DTP. Um, <sighs> Freaky ass song. Um, I like Bone Thugs. That ain't me. Yeah. But like Twister. Okay. I was fucking with Eminem. Uh, so so how do you feel about the Eminem slander that's been going on recently? Like within the past couple I of years. I ain't even heard about it. Yeah, people people be dogging him. I mean I think he's What lyric- kind of people? People I'm gonna tell you what kind of people. Cause his the <laughs> same difference. It's the same people that dog M and dog Jay Z. Okay. No offense, Meg. It's people that's born ninety seven or no ninety five and later. Mm-hmm. 96. It's some 95 as I know what time it is. Okay. 96 and later are mm. the ones that dog Jay-Z and Eminem. Mm. That's 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 the demographics. Mm. Again, that's another day by day study. Yeah. 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 That's I mean it's a day. difference, I guess, because they don't they didn't they didn't live in the time when he was talking to shit. Yeah, so that's what, the difference. Exactly. That's why I said, like, if your parents like my bias of music comes from what my mom my mom had me at 18 so Mm -hmm. when I I remember back to being 4 or 5 years old so imagine 23 years old Mm -hmm. you listening to prime shit and your kid 4 or 5 years old they're going to remember that of course that's where my like uh, core of like music Mm -hmm. started that's why I'm so biased towards 90s hip hop you right, know what I mean, because I came up listening to Jay Z, DMX, Locks, mm-hmm. Eve. You know what I'm saying? All yep, that type all of shit, them. Rough Riders. Yeah. So that's why I'm so biased towards that today. So you right. got people that was born what '96 and after. I maybe grew up. I don't know. Listening to Rich Homie Kwan and them. Nah, that's too. That's like people born in 2000 type shit. Oh, uh, you fuck with Rich Homie? Of course, you Migos. Saw- oh yes, yeah, yeah. all that shit. You saw how uh, what was it, Rich Homie and um, what's his name? What's that nigga name? The short nigga. Uh, Ooh. Roddy Pee-wee. Rich. Oh, Roddy Rich. When him I like and Rich Roddy Homie, too. they had kind of came at it and he said, like, Rich Homie don't got no hits. Like, he said, I'll do a versus. And Rich Homie had nothing but hits. That's what I'm saying. Hit after hit. Every fucking song. You can, let, you can play his whole album. Roddy Rich showed his age with that one. Yeah. Because that Rich Gang album? Boy, uh... <sighs> I still play that shit today. It's on my uh, little playlist right now. Lil Woody about that that shit, that shit go crazy. Nah, Rich Homie and Thug, they had that yeah. little era on Free Thug, lock. mine. Yeah, that shit crazy. It, uh, it don't look too good for my boy, but you never know. I mean, niggas be talking too much. Yeah, man. And you know they would, talk way too much. And they be quick to make an example out of somebody. Boy, that nigga can't wait to talk. Yeah. He's a pointer. Oh, man. Oh, man. Pointer, that's crazy. Everybody by himself, but go ahead. Mm. Um, all right, so we had, you know, we got some of your favorite artists coming up out the way. Um, you said Shauna. Shout out yeah. to Shana. I mean, any female artist definitely paid the way. Like, I fuck with Nicki Minaj, but I ain't gonna lie, I don't even listen to her music like that. Mm. But she is very lyrical. Okay. Like she's most the, the most lyrical female out really? to me. Ever? Ever of all time? Of all times to me. All right. I'm I actually really, I'm actually glad but, that you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say because that girl that just came out, she's very lyrical too. Who? From like PA. Um I just want a rough neck nigga from the um I ain't gonna know nothing y'all know what about. Lola What's Who? her name? Lola Brooke. Yeah. Lola. 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 Don't play with it, don't play with it. Oh. Come on, baby, don't play with it. That bitch Lola. lyrical as fuck. Like I heard some they other shit. Name. They both from uh Brooklyn. She from Brooklyn? Everybody. Damn. All a lot of female artists from it's a it's that new one. Back the fuck up. Move mm. the fuck back. You know what song no, I'm talking I don't. about? So she just did a uh, freestyle with Funk Flex, and it was decent. Mm. Like the little song back. The, it was like kind of like, what the fuck is this? But right. she's she's like a female DMX. The shit is yeah. crazy. But a lot of Ice Spice, the girl mm. y'all just said, don't play with it. And um, uh, what's her name? The back the fuck up. A lot of chicks from New Yorkers. Just in general, women have taken over the rap game in general. Uh, not sad to say because it is what it no. is. Y'all have taken the fuck over. as we should. Because here's the thing, it's always the first lady. If you think about it, like, from coming up from the um, existence of hip-hop itself, it's always one bitch MC in Light. every clip. MC Light started. Always. Uh-huh. <sighs> Y'all, go ahead. You sure? You can go ahead if you want. I feel like it was something deep It was within. in my heart. It's in my spirit, Lord. Mm-hmm. Because, like, we already, like, are gods and stuff like that. It's like, y'all never gave us our credibility. Mm-hmm. So... When we get out here, we start popping our shit and we finally take over. It's not that we even taking over. It's like we just really putting ourselves in position. And we always mm-hmm. had to fight as women. Like women rights, a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. And y'all, y'all be making this so hard for us. Not you, 
But like me. No, I, I I completely get what you're saying. Yeah, and I a lot of it. bitches do go harder than niggas because niggas just be talking about the same thing every fucking song. And a lot of bitches are very versatile and got a lot of things to talk about and a lot of things to explain. And me and Don. I've always said, I I've always said this. If you put me in a situation with two women, mm -hmm. I can get much further business wise than in the same situation with two men. Of course. That don't know the person that we're trying to persuade or influence or make connections with. Right. Much further. Like right. women out, not even just the rap game, entrepreneurs. Like mm -hmm. women, it's like as soon as y'all turn 18, y'all boom, y'all out getting it, however, Playing doing whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got women, whole life. you got women, all these estheticians, hairs, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Women even with the CDL game. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all definitely be killing. I'll give y'all prop shit. I ain't I appreciate you know what I'm saying. This, I fucking man. love women. Wouldn't be here without one and wouldn't have as uh, much wouldn't, about... wouldn't have as much fun without one. Hmm. All right, but speaking of women and speaking of female rappers. Um, we have come to a segment in the Day by Day podcast called okay. This or That. Okay. Which is simple. I'm going to name two things and you have to choose one or the other, this mm -hmm. or that. So this, okay. So this is This or That, Female Rappers. All right. You ready? Uh, I guess so. We're going to start off slight. Okay. Meg Thee Stallion or Glorilla? I'm going to go with Glow. Glow? Big Glow. Big Glow. I fuck with it. All right. Eve, E-V-E, -E, mm -hmm. or Cardi B? Cardi. Cardi over Eve? Yeah. Are right, you sure? You, yeah, you have to take a deep breath. I'm thinking yeah, about yeah, it. You, you, it's very hard. Yeah. Because Eve was popping her shit. Absolutely. You feel me? Like, the rough rider days was, you know what I mean? It's really hard. I guess I don't know what era I'm in because I'm just living my little life, honey. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> that was a real hard one. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. No, that was very hard. Thank that you. was very much a hard one. Thank you. I pride myself on my questions. All right. So wait, did you pick one? You pick you sticking with Cardi? They say trust know. your first they say they, they say do. trust your first choice. I fuck with Carly though. Like we talking about music, music. I'm gonna have to go with Eve on that. Okay. I'm gonna have to. All right. She reneged and she picked I did, Eve. I I did. If I really think about we talking about music, music, mm -hmm. music. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say Eve. Who's that girl? I bet. Gotcha. <laughs> you. talking about some real shit. Like yeah, yeah. I like real shit. Like authentic. I don't like a bitch talking about popping pussy and shit up. I don't like that. I ain't with that. So I don't. You know well what then, mean? well then, you definitely gonna like this next one. All right, up next, breaking into some gangster shit. You ready? Gangster Boo or Remy Ma? Come on, man. Well, who who you think I who who you think I see? Well, you uh, what, you you, heard me. you literally just whispered yeah. in a microphone. <laughs> So I okay, definitely gangsta boo though. Fuck. No, I knew you was gonna Good say gangsta boo. It. I mean, you're from the south, so that make that man, makes sense. Man, I swear to God, it's on my playlist right now. All right, so let's and rest our soul too. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Man, rest get, get rid of that motherfucking fentanyl, man, for real. Um, all right, so let's make it even more challenging. Little chat or gangsta boo? Mm, little chat. Sorry. Okay. Okay. It's a piece of gangsta boo though. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely little chat. All right, but up next. Don't, 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 don't sing at home. You better break at home. Go ahead. Hey, give me your shit. Oh, my mom, I just listened to that yesterday, but go ahead. Up next, we got Lauren Hill or Missy Elliott. Mm, I'm going to say Lauren. Okay. Misdemeanor. All right, up next. These we, are hard, though. That was a hard one. Thank you. Up next, we got Trina or Lil' Kim. I'm going to say Lil' Kim, though. I'm going to say they neck and neck. They be talking about the same shit, for real. I usually do allow one tie. Is that the tie you want? Yeah. Trina I, and Lil' Kim? Yeah. I mean, you there's so many one. different aspects, though. Like, what are we looking at? What are we judging here? What are we basing this on? Everything. Um, mm. Let's go Impact and who's just the better lyricist and Impact. Let's go with those Better two. lyricist? Did Lil' Kim write her shit? So... Oh, let's she, talk about it. Did she, did she, she write her shit? She says she did. So actually, in the no shade, looking, but I don't know. I don't know. In the interlude of Magic Stick, mm. fun fact, and in the interlude with Magic Stick with Lil Kim and Fifty Cent at the end of the song, she doesn't. She's doing a skit where she has a radio station mm. and people are calling in, and a dude calls in was like, "Kim, I got some shit I wrote down for you. I want you to spit." Da, da, da. She was like, "Don't you know I write my own shit? Send that shit to Foxy." Cause you know her and Foxy had beef, mm. so she 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 took a shot at Foxy mm. by saying that, and she also said that she writes her own shit. Cause it was alleged that Big wrote, was writing her stuff. yeah, and she said, nah, that's dead. I write my shit, Foxy don't. Just a little fun fact. <laughs> Listen to it. I'm coming. Cool, 
So who did you choose? Uh, we ain't escaping it. You said Trina and uh, Lil Kim. That was, mm, I don't know. I fuck with Trina so hard. We can but, t- we can I tie. Mean, I, like I said, I give one tie. One. Yeah, I, 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 I give one tie. It's cool. All right, last but not least. Okay. We got Nicki Minaj. Mm hmm. Or Jazz 0704 West Side. Me, I'm going to say me anyway. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to like give another bitch credit. She did. She do good, though. She's very <laughs> little. She do her thing. But I mean, everybody got their own style, their own lane. She said she cool. <laughs> but I'm in my own lane, though. I there don't compare myself to nobody else. But I, I mean, if we're going to decide between me or anybody else, it's going to always be me. Hey, listen, you, you peeped the alley you. I'm glad you dunked it. I'm glad you. Did I dunk I'm it? glad you ain't break that shit. What the fuck? All right, up next. Um, oh no, that's it for this and that. So that was a good one. All right, now next. Um, what I want to do is I want to recite some of your lyrics. Mm-hmm. Just get some more in depth detail that pertaining to. Okay. So in your song "Big Mad," mm-hmm. which by the way, <laughs> 2K views on YouTube only after a couple weeks of being up. Make sure that y'all tune in Jazz 04, Jazz 704 on YouTube. Yeah, I ain't promoted yet. My fault. I gotta promote it from. Quote: He calling my phone. Mm-hmm. Won't leave me alone. Mm-hmm. He want a piece of me. Right. I'm a real bitch. Period. I will never be your sneaky link. Oh, yo, mama. So let's go ahead and break that down. First and foremost, what is a sneaky link? And I only ask because my grandmother lo- my grandmother tunes in, so you know some people just straight hey, up. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, grandma. I've been cussing there. Thing. Nah, she she cool, man. Listen, I'm me. You know what it is. So what oh, is it? God. <laughs> okay. Well, a sneaky link, everybody know what sneaky link is. Will you be doing stuff behind the closed doors, right? Is friends with benefits the same as a sneaky link? I think that's what it's called. Okay. Pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. It's nothing tied, but y'all be fucking. Yeah. All right, cool. Second question. Why is being a sneaky link not the move for Jazz 0704? What the fuck I look like? Someone, I mean, I'm a grown ass woman. Someone I make, with a sneaky I, link. Well, I don't need to be fucking nobody behind nothing. You put me up front. I ain't no bitch on no side. I, I'm the steak. I ain't no mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my mama I ain't. So I got a lot of value, a lot of shit I carry within myself. I carry my own weight. I bring the table to the table. I bring the house to the house. What's that so mean? You, that mean I got my own shit. Okay. That mean I don't need nothing from no nigga. But what if you're the steak on the side dish? Ain't no fucking steak on no side dish. <laughs> what the steak on the top of the salad or something? Nah, the salad's on the salad's way off on the other side of the table. Yeah, I, ain't I mean on the that main fucking table. The main plate is empty, but I have a side plate and mm-hmm. it's, it's a steak. But the main plate is empty. I don't even know what you're talking about. It sounds good to me. It, uh, you lost me. So you're the main? No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I say ain't that. gonna say the main dish. Basically, I, nah, nah, nah. Show, I ain't no bitch. That you gonna put on no side? You I was ready. I, I was ready to ask. So you're the main side, but that sounds crazy. I ain't gonna. That I, yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna say that. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah, say that. Yeah. Um. So, but all in all, I only ask that because it is different mm-hmm. for men and women, and I say that because uh, recently I saw on I think it's Twitter. Mm-hmm. It was I don't know who the chick was that tweeted it, but she was just saying how she's in a stage where she only likes dealing with. Fun niggas. You mm. seen that? Mm-mm. So basically what she said was a fun nigga is a dude that can you can go on trips with, mm. you can hang out with, you have good sex with, but you're mm. not in a relationship with. You don't have any ties with. Oh, uh, kudos to her. Right. And all the girls, I don't I guess girls were agreeing with it, but all the dudes is like, yo, that's lit. Being a fun nigga is lit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it it it's definitely different between mm. the two. Mm. But you had a point now where you're like, Nah, only only the main thing. Point in town. <laughs> Always. Yeah. So how does one, how do you know if a dude really wants to consider, consider you he as consist- the main dish? He's consistent. Uh, consistency is key. Mm-hmm. I don't listen to what mo- nobody say no more. You got to show me. Through actions. Mm-hmm. Can someone be too busy? Is that such a thing? No. Always too busy? No. Even if he's a truck driver, constantly on the road. That's crazy because my ex husband was a truck driver. Uh-huh. But you always got time. It's twenty four hours in a day. If you can't make one hour for me, then you are some bullshit. That's a fair point. One hour, what talking on the phone or anything? In person? You ain't got no time out of twenty four hours. You some bullshit. Mm. And men are very simple. They gonna go after what the fuck they want. We are. They gonna put that pressure. We they are. gonna they gonna apply it too. And if they don't, then they don't mean it. So like, what's the point? It's simple. Yeah. It's not it's not it's Chinese not arithmetic. Y'all are fucking complicated as fuck. Yahoo, they women. 
Women are complicated. I'm a different type of woman. Y'all say stuff without saying it. I say what the fuck I see. Y'all mean stuff without meaning it. I say the end, I mean it. Well, then I guess you're you're different. I know I am. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point of this, the song. <laughs> so, um, you're, you're, you're a tall glass of water, too. How tall are you? Six foot. You six foot? Oh, my mama. Me too. What would it take for you to date a dude shorter than you? Never what? would date a nigga shorter than me. Ever? Don't even look over here, cuz. Even if? Don't look over here. Y'all sitting down somewhere. I don't give a fuck. He don't stand up, but I you like feeling him. I mean, top to bottom, you feeling him. I don't give him. a fuck. Everything's checking off. <laughs> Nothing's checking off. He stands up and he's 5'10". Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing outside right now? So I, I, <laughs> What's how you supposed to go to sleep, cuz? Oh, hey, yo, yo, go to bed. My it's, little baby is six six. Wait, that oh, okay. ass? They're on my mama. You got a son that's six six? Six six. Good lord. So like, did you play ball? I was a cheerleader. You cheer? I can't even bounce a ball and walk at the same time. I know you got asked that hella times growing up. Did you play ball? Everybody asks. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. And you cheered instead. I cheered. Did they ask you why you was cheering if you wanted to come play ball? I was on the band. I was in drama club. Okay. I was on chess club. Okay, you did, I was a geek for yeah, real. Yeah, you said earlier you was a geek. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So how tall at least does a guy have to be? At least six two, six three. Mm. I can't take it no more. Why though? What is what's different about a shorter guy and a taller guy? Because I'm a strong woman. I feel like I'm a bitch. Him. I'm sorry. Just because he's short. Yeah. That's fucked up. I mean, they can't just come tell me anything. I'm like, nigga, who the fuck is you talking to? Cause? Just because he's short. No, I mean, how else I'm gonna say it to him if he's down there? I mean, he ain't all the way down there. 5'10 is up to your nose. I'm going to still say it to him, though. That's crazy. Oh, uh, my mama. I'm going to say it to a nigga that's taller than me, but like, it's going to feel like I'm bitching a nigga like, that's shorter than me. Like, But you would expect to be uh, put in your place more so I like when a nigga dude. put me in my place respectfully. I know you do. Yeah, I know. If yeah. you, if you, cause you, but you don't feel like that could happen with a shorter dude? Never could happen. Because I fight niggas. Damn, Jazzo. I grew up fighting boys. I was a tomboy. I'm mm. like very much a tomboy. Mm. I grew up fighting dudes. I fought more boys than girls, actually. Mm. What's your yeah. record? Man, if I can't keep count of that shit. I'm going to fight the other day, but I don't fight no more because I grew up. But it just happened 48 hours ago. I said almost. What happened? <laughs> like almost fought a nigga at the store. Why so? He was in my business. And how, I don't like that. How so? What was he? I was on the to? phone. Uh -huh. And he was like, well, if you get off the phone. Damn. Yeah. And I said, nigga, you might have called the police before I leave about this bitch. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I was <laughs> Where was y'all at? <laughs> at the store. What store? I live in Wellington. It was a store up there. Mm. Little white boy. What was you, a, a little white boy? I would, he wasn't a little white boy, but I mean, to me, yeah. Uh, what was y'all in line? I was in line. He worked there. Oh. I told him to get my little stuff, and he was like, well, if you got the phone, motherfucker, you know, and it was uh. there. I can get my business. I don't like that. Okay. I told you what I wanted to regardless I'm on the phone or not. You mm -hmm. feel me? I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to get mad again. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to get mad. Mm. When was the last time you fought? I ain't even going to lie. Um, like physically fought like somebody, somebody. Yeah. I may exclude one fight because I shouldn't have fought them. But Well, what happened with that excluded fight? I'm going to talk about it. Um, right. You might, oof, like fight, like fight, fight, like it's a difference. Okay, so I mean, sounds like you're retired from that life. Sounds yeah, like you're, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. I'm grown as fuck. Like, I got shit going on for real now, but. And that's what kept you from fighting the white dude at the store? No, actually, because he was a white dude at the store in a oh. white town. That's why. Oh. Yeah, it was best for me to get the fuck on because I know oh. I'd be going out there. Yeah. Billy Bob and him would have pulled up. I mean, yeah. I wasn't even really worried for real, but it was so small of a town. I had something to do that night. So mm. I was like, get about there. Okay, got you. <laughs> got you. All right, cool. Um, So. One thing that I would have for you mm -hmm. is a random question of the day. Okay. And this is something new that I want to do. Completely off topic from okay. what we've usually been talking about. But since you said you're a geek, you said, you know, computers and all that shit. I got a question <laughs> for you. Are aliens real? Of course. Why or why not? Are, are we real? But we're here. We're so? no, we're, we know that we're here. So? That's unknown. What makes you believe <laughs> aliens are real? Okay, that, okay, I feel where you're coming from. But how do we know? It's, it, do you know every star in the sky is a galaxy? Mm-hmm. Our star is the sun, which is a part of a galaxy. Do you really think that out of all these motherfucking stars that we're the only existence of life? I don't. I don't. But my job on Day by Day Podcast is to it's be the ex. devil's advocate. So Yeah, so of course not. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so you're saying of all those stars, there has to be other life forms on it. Do you yeah. think alien contact has touched down on planet Earth? In my opinion, I think that I think the Jews are aliens. I'm sorry, Jews. I got some Jew friends, but yeah, I think y'all mm. aliens. Mm. Why so? Because they the ones who run the country, run the world. Mm. Some people would say that's more so a religious thing, like. Mm -mm. Jews run the Ties with, with the, mm -hmm. the devil and whatnot. Yeah, but I mean, they run by the By the way, world. we're going to get canceled as fuck for this conversation, but day by day, it's an <laughs> open, open platform. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I ain't got no liability there. Like, I make famous on it. But, uh, yo, no. Okay, so real. so since they run the world, they're, they're aliens, you believe? I, I, yeah. So in, The main ones, anyway. In what way? Do you think they have powers beyond our knowing, like the regular non-alien people? See, that's the thing because see, no one really knows. I know, right? That's the that's the crazy part. That's the beautiful. But I part. mean, if you define the word alien, is that's all it means is an only person that you don't know. So we are considered aliens for real, right? So we don't know who the fuck came here. But I mean, as far as for anything that's documented on American history, or not even American, but world history mm -hmm. that's been documented was inside of the pyramids. And the only thing that they said was Scott people came here and brought them here and gave life to the first woman. <laughs> Yeah, because we're the only people who can give life. We ain't going to talk about it, but... So that's like yeah. the chicken or the egg. But how does she arrive pregnant? Who said she arrived pregnant? So how does she produce life? Because she has the body to do so. Not by Y'all think that... Okay, so then that's contradicting too because, see, a lot of people are like Christian. They think that... Um, the Virgin that, Mary. Mm-hmm. So that's a true story. But 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 the true story can't come from a woman. You don't know say. See what I'm saying? I don't speak English. I wasn't there, so I don't know for Yeah, real. yeah. I don't think I know what was... Again, Physically documented. Again, the devil's advocate right here. Okay. Um, I do believe that aliens are real, and I'm, mm. I'm glad you said the pyramids. I believe mm. that they built the pyramids. Mm. And they say there's a lot of Egypt that still hasn't even been discovered. Mm. I mean, these are fucking... Each, each pyramid is precisely constructed, and this is in the Stone Ages we're talking mm. about. Each pyramid is concisely, precisely constructed with each... What? Each thing has thousands of bricks that make up the pyramid, mm. and each brick is tons. Mm. They said that it was actually a um, diamond shaped form. Oh, so the bottom half is still on the ground. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Uh, that that sounds like yeah. a spaceship to me. And y'all gonna think I'm lying, but my mama I seen I seen the spaceship the other night. The other night on my mama. What uh on Wilkinson Boulevard at the Dairy Queen. It came and stopped and it fucking disappeared. On some nope shit. I swear to God. On some I nope swear shit. to God. What it looked like? What color it was, was it? It was just like a light. Yeah. It was like a diamond shape. And then at the back, it was like a light. It had like red a little bit at the back. And it just stopped. And it just fucking flew. And you see it fly away and disappeared in thin air. Damn. You sure that wasn't a Grand Buick? Now nah, I'm fucking with in you. In the sky, so what if, no. So, so what if what if that spaceship wanted you to see them because they know that you know what you know? Take me. <laughs> Free no. me. Free you. Who who says it's good up there? Like what? Who said it ain't? Well, you want to find that's fifty fifty. I mean, I'm gonna find out one way or I, another. I'm, I'm good on I'm good on this soil. I'll I'll take my chances getting my hustle on hey, this, this soil. This is only us our souls living in a physical experience. We've been here a million fucking times. Mm -hmm. Only reason why we're here, this is hell. We keep repeating ourselves here because we ain't learned our lesson before. So I'm all about growth and elevation because I'm not trying to be here next time. So you be, do you believe in is it sound is that reincarnation you're speaking of? Not even re reincarnation, just like you keep, it's like karma. Like you keep repeating the same shit till you learn your lesson. Like we, we were put in place here. For all I know, we're the fucking aliens. So there might be aliens. We don't know. I don't know for real. Like I never, I never died and came back and said what the fuck nothing. Nobody I, has. I wouldn't real. be surprised if we're aliens and animals and plants are the earth's things. I'm, no, nah, I can't say that. Um, yeah. That's, that's She's my OD. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but no one left this earth to even be able to determine what's out there for real. So has man landed on the moon? Who? I'm asking, what was his name? Neil, Lar Neil Armstrong. Did he land on the moon? Ask Neil Armstrong. What's that? Neil? Neil. Ask him, did he land on the moon? And Neil, did you uh, land on the moon? He said he did. Neil, Na a motherfucking NASA. lie. <laughs> <laughs> and tell his mama I said that. If you know. So has anyone landed on the moon or just No, how? How you get out the how you get out the Omega's riot? How you get out the fucking atmosphere? How? Um, concealed rocket ships. Well, I mean oh, space okay. hold on, wait, wait, but spaceships go out of the atmosphere all the time. Uh-huh. They go out of the atmosphere all the uh -huh. time. How you know? Because it's shown. On what? TV? 
Yeah. The same shit to show movies and shit. Oh, I also the same Hollywood shit. Theater. Also the same shit that show football games, which is happening in real life. Oh, uh, okay. And those games be real. Yeah, I go. Your to team don't be winning for real. Your team don't want to get the best team. Your team lose against the worst team. Listen, if it's scripted, that's one thing. But the oh, game I... is happening. That's actually happening in real life. It could be fake, but I think spaceships go out of space. Like for them to go through all that every time to show the background and have motherfuckers flying and yeah. floating through the non gravity after floating. nothing, huh? You seen them floating? I've seen them float. You been like, I fly before? They yeah. be floating in there. Not the same. Do they though. be floating? It's there? not as loose. I'm just asking. They do. Oh, I... skydiving <laughs> floating is is much more air velocity wise than non gravity floating. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. So you're a conspiracy theorist. Um, I guess so. So this is all... I mean, what makes sense makes sense. Like, if the math ain't math and it just ain't math in. But they always say that. They always call somebody crazy about a theory mm -hmm. until it comes true. Absolutely. Like, is the earth round? Mm -hmm. No, it's flat. All right, see, that's half and half. Some people say it's flat, some people say it's round. But how, why would you think? Have you flew in an airplane before? <clears throat> how do you know it's flat? Have you ever seen or heard how or documented of someone falling off the face of the earth? If you had a ball right now, how the fuck could you stand on that ball? A ball? Yeah. What do you mean? A ball. A circular fucking item. How am I standing How are on you going to stand on it? Like physically stand on a ball. Think if, about it. If it's large, by balancing, if it's large enough. Balancing on what? The ball. How? A, a, a big ass yoga ball? If I got the biggest ball in the world, bigger than this crib, right? How the Balance. fuck is you going to stand on it? Balance. Inside of it? Inside of it or on top of it? Now, however the fuck we supposed to be in this bitch. If you can stand on top of it, it'll move. But well, wait, are we but, on top of it? But why are you asking? Because isn't the earth supposed to be round, right? Yeah. It, cause compared to a shape of a ball, right? But that's How a the big fuck are ass. We? I don't give a damn. That's a big ass ball for one. I don't give a damn. And the gravitational pull is pulling us to the ground for two. Mm -hmm. to which what is ground? the reason why it's flat. To what ground? This ground. So you saying this? You saying if the this, earth? If the earth, so you, are you saying it's flat? Or are you saying it's round? I'm saying surface is flat. It's mm. it's huge. We're not, we, you didn't ask. You didn't ask what the surface. So round if is. every part of round, every part of the floor flat. was round, then that would be a little ass circle. Is what I'm saying. The the Earth is massive. Earth is massive. The math ain't math and boo. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I've never because actually. You're had saying a, the, you're saying the surface because you asked was the Earth round or flat. Mm -hmm. You didn't say was the surface round or flat. Well, the surface is on top of it. It's a part on of it. On top of what? The earth. It's a part How? of it. How? Because it's so massive. This is a massive ball. If it's big as fuck, then of course it's going to have some parts that's flat to a micro scale compared to the big ass but ball. But we ain't on micro scale. We right here physically. No, but we are on micro scale because the earth is fucking huge. But we're talking about in physical form right now. We're not. We can't see the outside of the earth, so that don't matter to us. So it's within earth. We, we on the surface inside of a circle. So let me ask you this. The moon. <laughs> I mean, talk about it. The moon is clearly circular, circular right? Mm -hmm. So you're saying if we go to the moon, it would always be rounded the whole entire time. I didn't say that either. But you, that, you, you put words in my mouth. No, no, no. Because you said the earth right now isn't round. It's not. Moon is clearly round. How? Because you see it? It's a circle. Mm -hmm. I see the moon. You see the moon, Jazzo. Mm -hmm. It give off light too, right? No, it reflects light from the sun. But if it reflects light from the sun, that means that it, it more than likely... It's hot, right? It's hot? Yeah. I guess you could say that. Why would you yeah. not? We're hot too. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. the sun's coming on us, it's hot, right? Yeah. We'll be hot as fuck outside, right? Yeah. Uh, you say somebody went over there? Over where? To the moon? To the moon? Yeah. Uh, the sun reflects on us too. Yeah, we can go on days for this. <laughs> Again, I'm devil's advocate. But I'm actually glad I asked that question of the day because yeah. it hit home. I'm glad of that. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So before we get out of here, uh, what else do you have coming up? Um, music wise, because I feel like we've talked about m music included a hundred different things. I, I got a lot of stuff coming up. I I, I don't even can't even speak on it. Um, summertime, I'm nine out of ten. I'm outside, so I'm gonna take a little tour down to Florida. What Shout parts? Oh, I'll be all the way down there. They fuck me so hard down there. Yeah, Jacksonville, Tampa, St. Pete, Miami, for a lot of there. Mm. Like down there is like Hollywood area. That's like my little area. All right. So you're doing a musical tour out there? Mm. That's what's up. I probably do it for the whole July, for real. I'm gonna do South Carolina for it's gonna the, be hot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do South Carolina for May and then June. Who knows? July definitely down there in Florida. It's my birthday in July, so okay. 
All right, that's what's up. So tour, you got the movie coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, you got the uh, casting call for that and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And again, what parts are you looking for for that movie? Because that's that's big. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? When when are you looking to have the movie uh, like produced and aired and whatnot? I would say that it should be out by winter 2024. Okay, that's right around the corner. Yep, Dang. that's probably, it'll probably be before then. But I just want to make sure it's perfect because I'm perfectionist. But yeah, it's gonna be like a short movie. Mm-mm. It's gonna be like an hour and a half, hour forty minutes, like a yeah. regular movie. Yeah, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Keep me posted on that. I'm, I love movies. Oh, no, and I, love, I love movies and stuff like that. Shit, if you if you need like a live, uh, what, what's the people like live audience? Mm-hmm. Was it casting? Whatever the fuck that yeah. shit is. Yeah, I'll be there. Check it out and whatnot. I... Do you already have the scenes in your mind of where yep. exactly you want to shoot at mm-hmm. and whatnot? Yep. All right, cool. Looking forward to it. Um, all right, cool. So, live audience, shout out to Megan and Megan. Do y'all have any questions Megan. for either me? Or Jazzo. Y'all been great. I appreciate y'all. They ain't making it, making That's crazy. Yeah. It's the third one, too. I know they tell me. When they're together, I would call make, them make, three, make. three the hard way. Oh, that's, that's dope. Mm-hmm. What do y'all mean, in college? Well, I met them out here. Oh, okay. They went to school together. Okay. Yeah. Um. Like so, Jazzo. Mm-hmm. 704. West Side. West Side. For the most. I really appreciate you for pulling up. To the day by day podcast. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, absolutely. This was great insight. I can say this is probably the most unique interview I've done. And I <laughs> loved every single second of it. I love your energy. I love oh, your you. vibe and whatnot. So everything that's coming, uh, everything that's here now and coming with mm-hmm. your future endeavors. Best of luck to it. Best thank of luck you. to it, and keep me updated on everything so absolutely. I can peep the scene. Absolutely, absolutely. And thank you for inviting me out here for real. Yeah, no problem. Really this is it. Day by Day Podcast is a help me, help you, help me, help you. So everyone tuning in, whether you're watching on YouTube, listening on your podcast platform, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, uh, iHeartRadio, Day by Day Podcast is everywhere. Make sure that you hit subscribe. Make sure that you rate, like, share, all the above. Until next time, I'm your host, Day Day, and we are gone. <laughs>